Hello, this is Dataji, and I am preaching the spiritual knowledge of Sri Data Swami. The Lord is giving experience to us in every walk of life about His existence, but such experiences become weak in course of time due to the petty minds of the human beings. The human mind always takes logic and interprets such experiences as mere accidental situations. Therefore, the faith of the theist is not strong. The human preachers are unable to answer the doubt of these human beings, and this further weakens the faith. Therefore the Lord comes down in the form of a human being as the divine preacher. Thus there is a bare necessity for such incarnation. Veda says the following, which means that Brahman comes down before the eyes of the human beings. Gita also says Manushim Tanumashritam, which means that Brahman comes down as a human being. But the human body follows the rules of the nature and is not different from any other human body. The shirt of a king is not different from any other shirt. It can be cut with the help of a blade just like any other shirt. The specialty is in the king but not in the shirt. If the Lord wishes he could take a human body which has neither birth nor death, it can be a divine body which appears before all the human beings at different places and preaches in different languages in the same time. But such creation of divine body means that the Lord is going beyond the rules of the nature which are created by the Lord only. The Lord has such divine power which can go beyond this nature. Such divine power is called Maye, and the Lord who is the possessor of Maye is called Mayi, as said in the Gita. But no sensible administrator will break his own rules when a work is possible within the setup of the administration. There is no need of doing that work by breaking the administration. The Lord can achieve the same result by taking several human bodies at a time and from generation to generation. In such way the administration is not interfered. Therefore the Lord comes in several human incarnations at a time, in each generation, and the Viswarupa represents this. In Gita the prayer on the Viswarupa mentions about several feet, faces, and also several stomachs. Therefore the present picture of Viswarupa is wrong. It means only the photo of a group of preachers existing at the same time. The word Udara, or stomach, is not justified in the present picture of Viswarupam, which is again another misperception leading to misinterpretation. Therefore, it is very, very clear that Data means only the human incarnation that came down to preach the true divine knowledge. But due to natural egoism and jealousy, the human beings do not recognize the Lord in the form of a human being. Only very few believed Krishna as the Lord. Only very few believed Sridi Se Baba as God. When Say was alive, there were few devotees only, and nobody thought of a temple for him. Even Bhuti wanted to build a temple for Krishna only, who was a past incarnation. Now there are millions of devotees and lakhs of temples for Say Baba, because he is no more a present incarnation. He who wins over the three types of egoism caused by the three qualities, or three gunas, is called as Atri. He who conquered jealousy, or Asuya, is Anasuya. Such a devotee only can capture the human incarnation. This is the sense of the statement that Atri and Anasuya attain data. Dattu ni thala chedamu, dattu ni pila chedamu, dattu ni koli chedamu, dattu ni vala chedamu. Kori ka ye mi yule ka ye, dattu ni thala chedamu, dattu ni pila chedamu, dattu ni koli chedamu, dattu ni vala chedamu. Yemi kori kaleni, ma thala puku pilu puku kolu puku vala puku. Karanam Dattu ni pai galama Anuragam Dattu ni pai galama Mamakaram Dattu ni thala chadamu Dattu ni pila chadamu Dattu ni kola chadamu Dattu ni vala chadamu